Wood Farm, a family-run business in the green fields of Cambridgeshire. Home to fourth generation farmers Charles and Joe, a flock of 28,000 free range chickens, and now six million wriggling black soldier fly larvae. Don't worry, these are for the hens. Winner winner, chicken's dinner. Oh my God, there's millions of them in here. You don't need to stick your hand, you I don't. I don't need to touch it. I don't want to touch it any more than you do. I really don't want to touch it. No. no. So the chickens here are used to eating locally milled wheat. Sounds delicious. But now homegrown insects are on the menu thanks to this AI connected container farm. It's a system which allows byproducts to be upcycled on site into high quality, high protein animal feed. The climate controlled system is made up of trays stacked on robotic rollers. Each holds around 20,000 larvae, which get their own snacks of liquid feed. All this is controlled by a panel on the wall, with an app also in development. Typically, industrial scale insect farms grow and process larvae on site before shipping to customers. Better Origin, the University of Cambridge spin-out behind this trial, say they want to democratise insect production to farmers themselves. If you think of feed, right, it travels a very long distance to get to the point of farm. Soy usually travels from Brazil, okay? By putting a system on site, you can dramatically cut down on all that food miles. Not only that, you can do it vertically. But the smartest bit of all this is the AI that's monitoring the bugs. A combination of sensors speak with each other, sharing data around temperature, humidity, pH and motion. Computer vision systems analyse how quickly they consume their food and how much they're moving. This information is put through a neural network to detect how each tray of insects is performing, if they need more or less food, or if they are healthy or not, so the farmer can intervene. Of course, the main thing for farmers like Charles is that it's easy to use and results in happy hens. The, the trials that we've done, we've seen that the gut health on the bird has been fantastic. We've seen that feather coverage on the bird has been fantastic. So all round, we think it's probably the best enrichment we've ever come across. Now, it wouldn't be click if I didn't familiarise myself with the grubs and get in with the hens who've been hiding inside the barn from the rain. To try and get in before they get out. <laughs> Come on, girls. <laughs> it's grubs up for the chickens, quite literally. I've never seen anything like it. They love it. They're pecking my feet. It's a good job I don't have feet. 